Donald Trump gaining ground in key swing states, including Colorado. A new poll shows he leads Hillary Clinton by one point in Colorado. Well within the margin of error, of course. Gary Johnson and Jill Stein trailing far behind. Meanwhile, before Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump square off again, their running mates will face off in their one and only vice presidential debate. Democratic Senator Tim Kaine and Republican Governor Mike Pence getting ready for their turn in the spotlight this Tuesday night. Democratic Congresswoman Diana DeGette of Colorado is House Chief Deputy Whip and a Clinton campaign supporter. Congresswoman, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning, Maria. Great to be with you. So let's talk about Colorado. Uh, you probably are surprised by these numbers. Did you ever think it would be this close? I actually am not surprised by these numbers. Colorado has been a purple state for years and years. Um, we think it's trending Democratic, but we were expecting the polls to tighten up. Right now, here in Colorado, just like a lot of the other swing states, the whole game is the ground game. How can you get your voters out to the polls? This is where we really think Hillary has a great leg up here in Colorado. She has about five times as many field offices here in the, in the state. Yesterday, I was in the field office up in North Denver. It was buzzing with volunteers going out talking to people. Our, ballot, our balloting starts in about two weeks. So the ground game is really important in states like Colorado right now. So what does Hillary need to do to, to get a stronger hold on Colorado, do you think? Um, Donald Trump obviously spending time there and has been effective, uh, and now he's up. Well, um, we're also going to be seeing a lot of appearances from the Clinton campaign. We've already had um, uh, Secretary Clinton here. We've had President Clinton. In about a week, uh, Tim Kaine will be back in Colorado. So we'll have a lot of surrogates and, and the candidate herself coming through. The messages that resonate with Coloradoans are that we need to build all Coloradoans up. We need to build everybody's income. We need to think about college affordability. We have a large number of millennials moving into Colorado, and they're concerned about college affordability and issues like that. So she needs to continue to get her message out. We need to continue to work. I, I will tell you, yeah. yesterday, though, uh, the, the enthusiasm that I saw among these young volunteers was really heartening to me because Bernie, of course, had a big presence here in the primary, and it seems like they've all shifted over now to strong support for Hillary. You know, it's interesting because uh, the Bernie Sanders supporters uh, are all up in arms now about another comment Hillary Clinton made. She said uh, Bernie Sanders supporters uh, are living in their mother's basement, uh, which is, of course, when her mic was hot yesterday. That's been trending. Uh, what does she need to do to really lure that voter who, on and on, we hear from millennial voters and they say, I'm just not going to come out. I'm going to stay home and not vote well, at all. Hillary Clinton is actually being empathetic with those younger voters who are fo forced to live in their parents' basements and whose votes need to rise along with everybody else as we put together economic programs that are going to benefit all Americans. These millennials, they're trying to pay off college loans. They're trying to buy houses. Right. These are all things that Hillary Clinton has programs for. Well, so I'm, she's, I'm she's actually that because sympathetic because to Congressman, them. Congressman, you're right. It's an economic is issue. That's what's most important to voters today. And when you look at Donald Trump's economic plan, he wants to lower taxes, he wants to roll back regulations. Very simple, very straightforward. Hillary Clinton does not have as cohesive a message. Can you tell us in a couple of lines how she plans to create jobs and move the needle on economic growth? We just got the GDP last week, Congresswoman, and we're still at 1.3%, 1.4% growth. That's not going to create well, jobs. First, first of all, Maria, I think, I think that Donald Trump probably mostly wants to cut taxes for himself. The revelation that came out yesterday that he, that he uh, took a billion dollar loss and didn't have to pay corporate taxes for 18 years, while it might be legal, I don't think it's going to sit well with those millions of Americans who've been having to pay taxes for all of these years. And Hillary Clinton has a strong plan for tax relief for the middle income. Part of that is going to be Making, making the very, very wealthy pay their fair share of taxes. And I think we can all agree that that's an equitable way to go. Well, the problem is, is when you raise taxes on the highest earners, you hit small business. And we all know that you small know, business is the area of the economy that's the job creators. So if Hillary's going to raise taxes on small business, isn't that going to bust up this plan in terms of uh, economic growth? 
Actually, the very wealthiest people like Donald Trump, that's not small business. The people like Hillary Clinton's dad and other people who really are small business people, they will get tax relief under Hillary's plan. But, but trickle-down economics has never proven to work, and it certainly hasn't worked recently. And, and, and if you look at Donald Trump's plans, the tax cuts that the very wealthiest are going to get are astronomical. Right. And frankly, this is not what Americans want to see. They right. want but tax you, relief for the middle class economics and for small business. You, you say trickle-down economics hasn't worked recently, but Congresswoman, President Obama has been in office for eight years, and we're talking about economic growth of 1.3%, one 1.4%. 1 so in fact, it's the Democratic policies that haven't worked in the last eight years. Well, actually, I was in Congress when President Obama took, took office, and he took us back from the precipice, which had been created as a result of the economic collapse under George W. Bush. And now our job growth is solid, our economic growth is solid. That's what we need to continue and really focus on these millennials, on middle class, and, and on small businesses. So Hillary has a whole plan that people can look at, but certainly giving more tax cuts to billions like Donald Trump is not going to be the solution. All right, we will leave it there. Congressman, good to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate Great it. Great being with you, Maria. And